All right, let's get out of here. Come on, let's go. I came up to a place out here. You know, as the crow flies, it's really not that far from the house, but it's a long drive to get out here. And, as you can tell, it's out in the middle of nowhere. They got, they got bighorn sheep in this range up here, and there's a muzzleloader deer hunt going on at the time, right now. But there's, a, there's this little old ridge rim that runs right down through here. That's, uh, oh, it runs for, I don't know, a few miles down through here. And, uh, I've been up and down it a few times before and I thought, well, there probably won't be any hunters get out in here. So I'm on old Big Agnes and packing uh, Ruth the Renegade or <laughs> whatever she, her name is, Ruth. But anyway, if you go, if you see the furthest mountains you can see right there, right on the other side that is that Butterfield Trail. And I've been doing a lot of research on that trail and I've found all the the way stations or the stage stops along the way and I talked to a man who has a ranch over there on the Arizona border one of the places I'll be running I'll be riding through and uh, he told me he said make sure I give him a call when I get over there so he'll probably give me some good insight and then but this is another trail that I've been kind of fascinated with if you if you look out in these flats right here it's that's called the that's the Jornado del Muerto. And the uh, Camino Real that came out of Mexico and went to Santa Fe. Camino Real, yeah. Cari Car Camino Real Norte. I'll put a little text right here. Anyway, it went out across the flats. Of course, they were pulling wagons and, and going out through there. And I always thought, well, guys on horseback and uh, cuz that's desolate I mean and, and there's some stock tanks and stuff out there and some solar wells now but back in those days you just it was dry that's why they call it the Jornado del Muerto it's the journey of death it was hard to get through there but I would imagine guys on horseback especially the outlaws they would cut across through here and I can only imagine the outlaws sitting up on top of this rim looking out through there and uh, seeing a wagon train going through there, and uh, there you there was a there was a, a bandit I've read quite a bit about him called uh, El Chato. And uh, supposedly there's some buried treasure out here that he, from him robbing these Spanish wagon trains going, or Mexican, Spanish, whatever, wagon trains going north. And then if you look into the far mountains way over there, that is called the San Andreas Range. There's a big legend of about uh, gold that a guy named Doc Noss found. Out in there of course that's on the white sands missile range we're not allowed to get on there but doc nos found this gold they got pictures of it i'll see if i can include some of that here but the legend has it that he took a bunch of it out and he stashed it in different places around through here 
I don't know. I always keep my eyes peeled. And then, of course, we have the Calios over here, and there's several legends about uh, treasure buried in the Calios. So, besides having the hounds out here and looking for a uh, a lion track or something for them to trail <laughs> and enjoying the wide open spaces. I'm always kind of keeping my eye out, see if I can find anything that might give me an indication that there's some, some buried treasure. You never know. You never know what you can find out here. I'm, I'm sure, you know, I know there are tons of crazy people that come out here and look all the time. <laughs> but I don't know. I, I just like to get out. So anyway, Let's go, Big Agnes. Oh, Big Agnes is not a happy Agnes. Are you a happy Agnes, a Big Agnes? <laughs> She's okay. Slow and steady. I left Lucy at home. I, didn't, I just brought these two because I needed to get them out. Been working all week. But I, I'm, I think I'm gonna get getting close to quitting, retiring. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Started out this morning 34 degrees, but the high is only supposed to get up around 65 or 66. That's pretty good. See, I, this is the trail. If you look and you see those little mountains in the distance right there, not the far, far ones, but the ones in between, that's where my house is right down below there. So this is another one of those trails that one of these days, a lot of people think I'm crazy for wanting to do this. But I just want to ride right out of my house and come and 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 I, I will I'll hit the the Camino Real there by the house down by Fort Selden. That's the army fort. And then ride the trail down along by the side of up above the river and along and then up through here and then go all the way north as far as I can. I probably be about four or five day journey I don't know if I can I might there's some private land up there I don't know if I if I can get permission to cut across but if I can I will and of course I'll take some hound dogs with me I wonder if their feet would hold up for that many days that'd be a test wouldn't it jumping jack flash booger bear right there there's P behind him, Uno and Timmy, brothers, Booger's sons. And Rusty, he don't care. There we go. That's the old Jazz. She's the mother. Oh, even Jack, listen to that. But Al, Mouse way up there. That's what I like about him. Pretty tight mouth. But he's always moving forward. Always going forward. Ah, we'll see. Without Sissy here, I don't have a lot of faith. They, uh, I mean, they'll trail a lion, but they'll also trail a lot of other things that aren't a lion. I got Sissy bit by a rattlesnake on the leg. Wait, see those mountains right there in the middle? And I didn't film, I just went out real short. I put a camera up on top. See, Booger found it way up there. But anyway, and it was my fault. Rattlesnake started rattling in some rocks. And I seen him in there. And I got my, I was carrying my 22. 
and I went to shoot him and, and I was hollering because there were some other dogs around there and they were, they had to, get, you know, I didn't want, want them to get bit, but Sissy was quite a ways away and when I shot, Sissy thought I had shot something and she's had enough game shot out to her. So here she come running around, she jumped right in there with the rattlesnake and I just nicked him and he, and he bit her on the leg and she's 12 years old, 13 years old. She's still alive, but she's, she's really, really sick, really sick. She's one of the dogs that tells me for sure that we're not trailing trash. But the way this has traveled and everything, I, I, you know, it's not a big deal. It's, it's pretty good the way they're going. It looks right to me. We'll see. I love to hear them open up and trail like that. Open up bark. We've gone a long ways. It's getting hot though. I mean, it's not hot like summertime hot, but it's going to be 60, 65, 66 degrees. Maybe. Good day though. Good ride. Look at little fat Lori Hunt. I got ahead of him. That's no good. It all just kind of petered out over there. That's all right. I haven't had them out a lot. There's some water down there. I packed water this morning, but there's some water down there. It's starting to get late. Might just work my way down through there, take them to the stock tank, and then I got to ride back out and cross that road, and then I'll ride about a third of the way up across those little canyons and see if I can hit a track going up into that that country right there or yeah so let me see what time it is five to one it's about right Dogs are still wanting to trail a little bit up there. slow but they're trailing kind of rough old backbone right here bit by a damn bee flew up <laughs> flew up my nose why are they attacking me up here some just ah, you son of a
Thought I'd get away from them, they're after me bad. All right, let's get out of here. Come on, let's go. Son of a biscuit. They're after the dogs. Let's go. Bastards. Why won't they leave me alone? How far will they follow you? Ah, dang it. Bastards won't leave me alone. There you little bastards. I didn't bring this for bees, I brought it for uh, gnats. but it'll work for bees, I think. Unless one gets underneath it, <laughs> then I'm in trouble. I'm gonna find a place to water these dogs. I need to get these mules away from these bees too. A bit right there. I I had one getting in my nose. He didn't bite me in my nose, but he flew in my nose. <laughs> Little bastards. Oh, here's a little divot. See right there. Knock the rocks out of it. Come on. Hey, booger. Come on, P. Come on, booger. Booger. Get a drink. Sorry guys. Head mosquito net. That thing is a lifesaver.
trip computer. 8.71 miles. Uh, moving average 2.7 miles an hour. I was out, no, that's time. No, no, I was out five hours and 33 minutes. Not bad, good day, it's a good day.